John Skeel is a fisherman, and unlike most fishermen these days, he's feeling pretty confident about the future. That confidence springs from a revolution in fishery management, a revolution called catch shares. Under catch shares management, Skeel and other Alaska halibut fishermen get shares of the total annual catch, shares that grow in value as the health of the resource grows. That's changed everything. Now I feel that we have a stake in this for the future, and, uh, and uh, lots of my friends feel the same way. Today, Alaska halibut is a sustainable fishery. That's good for the fishermen who catch these fish, the communities they live in, and a world hungry for protein from the sea. Yet, just a few years ago, the halibut fishery was plagued with poor management. Concern about overfishing had reduced the legal fishing season from 125 days in 1975 to two frantic, often dangerous, 24-hour openings in the early 90s. We call them derbies. They were real pressure cookers. I mean, you had a lot of your income was based on one day. I can remember openings that were terrifying. We were out in huge seas and gale force storms. Um, had a couple close calls myself, lost some friends. You know, you're just swamped with fish and they're just on top of each other. It turned into a, just a nightmare. That something had to be done. That something was individual fishing quotas, one of many types of catch share programs that can be tailored to meet the needs of individual communities. Now, halibut quota holders begin each year knowing exactly how many pounds they can harvest. And they can do it at any point in the season, which is eight months long. A longer season means more fish delivered fresh to stores, driving the price fishermen receive to near record highs. A longer season also means greater safety with fishermen choosing when they go to sea. I make the joke, you know, I'm a fair weather fisherman now because there's no reason not to be. No longer driven by the need to always catch more, halibut fishermen focus on efficiency. Gone are the days when regulations forced fishermen to toss perfectly good fish overboard to die. What's more, monitoring provisions ensure that the scientifically set annual catch limit is met. The main thing is we have time to do it right to tweak our operations so that we can do the best job we can, both for quality of product and for the conservation of the resource. Alaska's halibut fishery stands as a shining example of what's possible, and fisheries around the country are following its lead. But many others remain in serious trouble. Catch shares could help turn those fisheries around. And that's where you come in. In 2007, our country made a commitment to end overfishing. The big question is how to make that promise a reality. Here's what I know. We do our best in tackling these big challenges by unleashing people to innovate and profit from conservation. Cat Shares makes that happen. With your leadership, we can make catch shares the management tool of choice for America's fisheries. Please take action now to support catch shares. It's our best hope to end overfishing and support both fishermen and their communities. It's the right thing to do. And this is the right time to do it. <laughs>